Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 3 of Metallic Rouge. Let's go ahead and get started. And 3, 2, 1, go. I can't, oh, okay. That was weird. This looks like a, that moment right there with them on the elevator, that looked like a scene from iRobot. What is with these big behind, like, subtitles? Oh. Huh? Why? Rouge, I don't think it's that. Money. Oh. So the end, we got a bird for this, no money? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Damn. Really? This song? <laughs> okay, so what you want to do with all those? What is it going to be like the freaking Dragon Balls and you grant your wish or some shit? I don't know who he voiced by, but it's hot. <laughs> hmm. 
chips <laughs> right so don't be surprised about that you know one day they might go off on y'all and kill y'all and then what you gonna do It's a big ass crowd though. What's wrong? Did you lose your chocolate? Girl! <laughs> you sure you didn't eat it all? Ah. Yeah, strategy meeting first, and then we can go buy some chocolate. Rude. I mean, in a way, Naomi's like, like, like your, like your navigator. She's like a, um, a Fuka or a Futaba or a Rise in a way. The girlies are fighting. Girl, you seriously gonna send her? She gonna finish a big ass crowd by herself. You know, hey, that's okay. I would too, even though I'm not, I don't, I don't like crap like that. Shrimp, I can do that by myself. Oh. Baby, you're gonna regret that though. Huh? Cutie. Oh my god, he's voice what? Ah! <laughs> my baby. <laughs> of course he comes back. Huh? Precious baby boy. Oh my god. Stop it. What's up? You want to go inside? Hi. What damn? No questions asked or anything about that? We're just letting her in. I mean, you know, she could be a bad guy. She could be a terrorist. Something. Be like, no, nah, yeah, you can come in. Come on.
We know it's going to happen again. Well, what else can you do? I want to be that cigarette. <laughs> <sighs> Him and gun, of course. Yeah, don't have time for that. Bye. No, d don't do anything. Just let him smoke. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have to apologize to her when you see her again. <laughs> well, that's partner slash friends for you. Of course she did.
yet, but something still tells me you guys might end up retaliating. I just, I don't know when. It's just that weird feeling I have. Just thinking of anything like that has androids in it, you you know something bad's gonna happen. Oh. Jesus, 23. Yeah, why do I feel like he's going to ask her, like, oh, hey, what if we work together or something? So it wouldn't be that easy. Then what is it, though? I don't know though. Again? Oh. You would say ring. <laughs> Can't talk about that yet. <laughs> well, we could, but you know, hey. I'm not ready for this weekend, though. Uh, what we doing? You would be like a beacon of hope for them, yeah. Can you really do that? Right? What would Naomi say about this? I got a bad feeling about this. But the question is, how are you going to get inside, babe? This is a trap, obviously. would kill him though. No! So we really not gonna find out who fucking killed him. He, he could have did it. He could have did it. And that's why maybe he also had, you know, <laughs> my baby Kier Wing come in and say, oh yeah, you gotta go by yourself.
They had to be. Whatever that sound is, it's not good. The, are you effing kidding me? Seriously, you know what shows? Y'all be taking, you know, all the notes from each other. Click hanger. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Okay, my biggest thing is who the heck killed the kid? Why would you kill a leader? Uh, especially after him having a conversation with Rouge and being like, oh snap, like, yes, you're our beacon of hope. Like, if you, who, you know, you're one of us, but you look more human, it gives us a chance to possibly be at the same opportunity that you currently have. Like, any one of them could get a certain type of skin or form where they're protected, and they don't have to worry about certain things. But to, to kill the child, that's messed up. Now, um, homeboy with Leon very suspicious both of them are suspicious i mean the fact is that he told him to leon to bring rouge and then we find the kid dead something about that ain't right to me something is very suspicious and fishy about those two not only because one of them is a pretty here and stuff and the other one used to be not any freaking kento and he's probably getting his revenge arc in this show who knows but yeah, I don't trust them. No, like it, something about that's very, very awkward. But my biggest thing is now, like, excuse me, what? How is Naomi going to get where Rouge is to also infiltrate the base? The good thing is because they have the bird, she can kind of really stay with Rouge and stuff. But the biggest thing is they're going. She's gonna have to get in there and such. And they're only inviting certain people up in this area. Now, let's say, you know, Rouge is, like, walking around with someone and Naomi just so happens to walk in. Then, boom, we can use that. But then, two, we got to see these two, of course, make up. So, we're going to really see the conclusion of that next week, probably. Or we're going to go into something else where they've already made up and such. But I, I get it. I love the fact that we got to see, like, an argument or just, like, a fight with these two. Because ever since episode one, they've been, like, this team. Very much working together and such. And, of course, like, you know, if we're talking about any type of series, Magical Girl S, whatever, where we have teams, eventually we know there is going to be a moment where <laughs> not everybody's going to agree on everything. But something tells me that... If we continue where this next episode, or where this episode left off in the next episode, and she comes in and sees what happens, or since she's there with the bird and such, that is going to bring these two back together. I don't know how, per se, but I don't also like the fact that the Neons want to also not tell the humans. Because I get it, it is a big issue, you know, <laughs> we might have World War, like, 50 up on our hands and stuff, and people are really going to retaliate on this because... When you have someone who is a leader, now, you know, am I, not even MIA anymore, just dead. It, that's when everything fucking changes and everybody wants that power for themselves. So, who knows how next week's gonna go. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 3 of Metallic Rouge. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 4. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!